So guys, we are still here at Happy Jewelers. I'm wearing a jacket this time because it's a little bit nippy in here. They've got the air conditioning cranked and it's freezing cold outside, but you guys don't need to hear that. I just wanted to show off my jacket. And they want to show you some amazing, amazing super high-end watches. So here we are again. Welcome back. <laughs> this is all pretend. We did this once this morning. How's it going? Good, good. What do you have to show us today? Okay, so I got some special pieces. We got some of the more unique, special pieces that I think your audience probably hasn't seen before. I've never seen this before, or yes. this for that matter. So this is a 6501. This is a RM004. Can I, I pick actually, it out? Of course you can. Don't drop it. <laughs> <laughs> what, wasn't there a video where we played catch with a, like a 12 karat diamond? Yes. You know what, what I have now? I have a five karat DVVS1. A lady paid 2.2 million. Play catch? Can we play catch? Listen to me. I have a lady, she paid- Can, I play, can I play catch with him? You think you're funny, huh? Honestly, you think you're funny? I love that guy. He's an absolute utter lunatic uh, and <laughs> would love to do more videos with him, but he is no longer in the US. He disappeared. Nobody knows where he went. The funniest thing about Yossi is that he was actually Everything more, was funny yeah, about Yossi. But he was more mean to you off camera than he was on camera. That's true, yeah. The rudest um, guy you <laughs> really? ever could imagine. You're yeah. kidding me. But I used to like it. But no, but like in a, in a banter way. Yeah. Like not rude as in like disrespectful, yeah, just yeah. banter. We'd, we'd have an appointment to shoot a video at two o'clock. We go there, we're there, 1.45, no use, Yossi. Two o'clock, no Yossi. 2.15, no Yossi. His staff's calling, I'm coming, I'm having my lunch. Yeah. Don't disturb oh my me. He was yeah. always over the street, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah, right. So it got to 2.30 and call him, tell him we're leaving. Let him leave, you know. That, that <laughs> <laughs> right? If he comes back, we've got to do more videos. Yeah, lo love brilliant. the guy. So this I have never seen before. It's actually spectacular. You want to tell you if a little it, bit about it? If it wasn't a Richard Meal, I'd want to buy it. <laughs> so yeah, so tell me tell me everything about it. So this is a Richard Meal. It's an RM6501. So this is more a gimmick than anything, this push to wine thing, right? What is it gimmick? You can also wine it with the crown? Yes. So you wine it with both? Yep. Okay. So it's a gimmick. It's, it's, I, it's, do you know it's, what it's though? Kind of a, kind would of that make gimmick. you happy? I mean, would it make you buy the watch if I said it's a gimmick? I'd have more chance of buying it yeah. if, if it, you said it was a gimmick. Okay, then it's a gimmick. Push, no, the, what push are these? the button though, Michael. It's quite satisfying to wind a watch like that. It's crazy. I don't think I agree with you. I agree yeah, for it, sure. It's I like so it. weird. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Right? You know those toys as a kid where you would like push the top down, it would spin, 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 and then it would take off. Exactly. That's what it reminds me of. But that's the thing with Richard Mills, they're so innovative. They do things in a different way, and they're not like the normal watch brand, Far right? Far from it. I mean, when what they is, first what, came what, out- What does this do? When they first came out, they were making like um, <laughs> Danny does red watches. Like, let, let me see, what does it say? This is for the seconds. <laughs> what does it do to the seconds? We got, we, we got, <laughs> we got him. So they make these let ultra complicated watches that- <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, it, it restarts the second hand. I apologize. So instead so of- it's a split second, Michael. Ah, so you can, it's a, uh, you can okay. record two times at the same time. So it's gonna actually allow you to restart it. Oh, that's cool. That's that, not restart, that's cool. Did, did, you, see, did you see that? What, watch that. So look, you're gonna stop it, you're gonna continue it, you're gonna click that to start the extra second. So hand. there's two seconds, there's one behind the you other one. You see that one. Oh. So the baby's doing the orange. Now you're gonna click this to have the other one start. Oh, that's cool. Now you're gonna so click you have again. like a split time. It's yeah, genius, like, it's genius. It's, I've never seen a watch with a complication It's amazing. Like that. A lot of companies do split seconds, yeah, but they do, Richard yeah. Mill does it differently. They don't care if, oh my God, it's too much color, or it's right. this, or it's that. The watch is gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I would wear this watch in a heartbeat, and I have Richard Mille, yes. and there's absolutely nothing wrong with the watch. My beef, again, it's like Ferrari, it's no different. Yes. You, you know, you, you want to buy a Ferrari, they make you get on your knees, that's true. right? And that beg for the, for the watch, and I just think that's wrong. I think, you know, they should yeah. be loyal to their customers. Yeah. I would like to see that on a black strap with some red accents on it. It actually comes with a black strap. Oh, it does? Yeah, it oh, actually comes go. with a black I strap. I love this strap. The customer prior put the green <laughs> strap on it. Doesn't surprise me. All right, here, like we Brazil. Go. here we uh -oh. go, here we go, here we go. How much credit did you say yeah. he still had? He has like five, six grand. It's not gonna be enough for sure. <laughs> he could pay for the strap. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. I think the strap think? is like five grand. Kind of kind of matches my jacket, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, it's not far off. How much is this? I'll give you a special deal, Michael. Here we go. I will do it for you for four hundred and ten thousand dollars. That's a good deal. <laughs> is it a good deal? It That's is a good, good deal. deal. Smoking, smoking deal. How much is the retail on this? The retail is about uh, in the mid threes, I believe, mid to high threes. It matches your jacket today. Yeah. It's very colorful. Next. <laughs> <laughs> so right. now another Richard Mill. 
I just bought this literally a couple days ago. It's a Richard Mill RM004. So it's gonna wear smaller than the 6501. It's also gonna wear smaller than the RM1103, but it's gonna be a little bit bigger than the 7201s and the 67s. About the same size as the 10. Uh, bigger. Is it? Bigger than the 10. Yeah, a little bit bigger than the 10, it's but not large. by much. It's it gorgeous is. with a green strap. And this is a full rose gold case. But look at look at the thickness of it. But I actually mm. like the size of it. It's like not nice too big. And yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is this is actually a very pretty watch, and it feels good. It, it really very heavy. Does. Very heavy. Very, very heavy. Very, very very heavy. Elegant, actually. I really Sunny. like that green, actually. Me too. Yeah. How much is this? This one I would do if um, two eighty. The, so again, that sounds like a fortune, but this one actually does have some serious complications to it. It right? has some serious. I guess the other one does too. too. Yeah. This one, of course, they all. I mean, you're right. Look, they do have Richard Mills, where with no complications, they go for obnoxiously high, high prices. But they do make some crazy. Movements. No question. No question. Very nice. Okay, let's move on from no. Richard Mills. So now this is going to be a ladies. It's a Patek Philippe fifty thirty six R. This is going to be an annual calendar with a factory diamond bezel. Now, this is going to be the previous version. They make, they still make this in production. I believe it's a different reference number, but look how pretty the watch is. That's beautiful. I mean, it's pretty to look at. So interestingly, go back 10 years, this would be a man size, right? 34, 36 yeah. millimeter? Yeah, uh, like maybe 20, 30 years. 20, 30 years. Yeah. A small guy could still wear this, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone they they still wrist. make, I mean, they still make paddocks in that size. I mean, here. I, I feel like smaller watches are coming back, like for men. Here, paddock 5054. That's a cool piece. Platinum. That's this platinum. is a men's watch. Same size. Yeah. But look at how the color makes it so feminine, and this makes it so masculine. That's true. So how much are these two watches, just for comparison? This one is 27,000, and it's platinum. And then this one is 44,000, and it's rose gold. Interesting. Nice watch. Yeah. Do you like it? Uh, I do, yeah. I, I'm not a fan of the strap, but I do like the watch itself. Yeah. How cool is this? You open up the case from the back to see the movement. Platinum, it's nice and heavy. Oh, oh nice. That. That's got glass cool. in it, right? Yeah, there's a glass right so there. So Paddock does this a lot with their watches, but on their newer ones, they actually give you the case back separately. Yeah. Do they? So you can case. either put it on or not put it yes. on. Yes. Exactly. Correct me if I'm wrong, that's called a hunter back? It is called a hunter back, yeah. You're absolutely right. How you know that? your stuff. My God, he's a, he knows. Guy, a smart he guy. Knows his stuff. I remember there was a, an argument in a video with, I think it was with Seth, about whether it was a hunter back or a hunt, hunting back. Hunter back. So you call it a hunter back and you call it a hunting back. Who's correct? I am. It's a hunter back. Hunting is uh, when you get a gun and you go, psh, 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 that's hunting. What is it? Is it hunting? Hunter. Hunter back? Yeah, it's called a hunter. Gold hunter. <laughs> I got it right. I just, I just Googled it. No. Oh, you're right. You said hunter. I said hunting. Correct. Yeah, hunter. <laughs> Look how Correct. muggy right. it is. <laughs> Funny stuff. I wonder why they named it hunter back. Like hunter, like, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So I had a watch. I don't have it anymore. And again, it's one of those things I don't know what I did with it. I can't remember. I might have sold it, but I don't remember. And it had um, a hunter back on it. When you opened it, it had an erotic animation in the back <laughs> that actually moved. Oh, yeah, okay. they make a lot of those kind I of watches. I remember that. You remember it? Yeah. yeah. Was I it a you know know it early, early days? Yeah, early days. I, I don't know what I did with it. I've also got a Jacob that does that as well. Uh -huh, the Caligula. Like, yeah. yeah. You know your stuff. Of course. Yeah. Gee, I've, I've done enough of these now. <laughs> yeah, right. I've had my eye on these two green ones, but let's start with that. That's cool a, piece a So this is a Hublot Unico, all green ceramic. So Hublot is one of the only companies that can actually do different color ceramics. I mean, feel the way of the You see them in watch. white normally, right? Or you black. You see them in yeah. white. I have a blue one as well too. You want me to show it to you? Sure. Yeah. This is actually very pretty. It's a pretty watch. You wouldn't think of green ceramic as being pretty. Look at and the blue. Hublot make a great watch. Oh, they make yeah. beautiful watches. I always say, design-wise, Hublot makes some of the prettiest watches. And Look they're affordable that. too. And they're so affordable. how much are these two? So this one is um, brand new. Box paper is fully complete. It's gonna be 23,000. This one is pre-owned, but it's like new. We're gonna be doing it for 19,000. And what would be the retail of these? $30,000. Wow. Well, do you like them? Uh, not for me. But they're pretty, right? Cool, I cool mean, concept, yeah. fun concept. 
I would do the street green wear one. type yeah. type thing. I could imagine, you know, an artist wearing that. Yeah. 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 It's a fun watch. Mm -hmm. I mean it you is. could you could work to the to the beach or wherever. It is. Question for you. Yep. When it comes to these ceramic watches, if you pop it down a little bit hard, you have to be careful. It can, can shatter, yeah, right? It can shatter. So you have to be gentle. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to, like, normal wear and tear, it's not going to break, but right. if you drop it from a two, three story building, I mean. Yeah, well, you wouldn't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Yeah. yeah. Look, I put that I actually machine. had a lady that traded in one time a, um, a rose gold um, GMT that she dropped. I think they were at some type of rooftop lounge or something like that. And it went down like a 30 story bu building, thrashed the watch. It took me, like, I think it cost me 15 grand to fix it because that's had to literally replace every single part in it. Wow. But I made it, like, brand new six months later. That's crazy, it's almost like right? a project. Yeah, I can imagine. Like I literally bought piece by piece. That, that's crazy, right? Yeah. But the moral of the story is don't drop it. From don't, drop it. <laughs> yes. don't drop it. Yes. That's it. the moral. Okay. So What's that grenade watch next to it? Yeah, now this is a very, very rare color, right? Very rare color. So they um, make it in the blue and the green. It's the Patek 5168 white gold so it's the g if you wanted to go and buy this strap you couldn't is, is that you correct? cannot buy the strap they make the 5968 that looks exactly like the 5164 in the white gold with the green okay. so what people do is they'll buy the 5164 and they'll try to go find a green strap to make it look like the white gold yes because one is like seventy thousand and one's like one hundred fifty thousand. but to find a green strap for it i paid one time sixteen thousand dollars for the rubber strap Sixteen thousand, and I told the customer, wait, 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 no watch attached to it. Just strap yeah, yeah. for a rubber ten dollar strap. Yes, you paid sixteen. Sixteen thousand for factory strap. Thousand dollars. And I begged the customer not to do it, and he said, "I don't care." Well, and would you been better off buying the white gold one with the? Well, no, because the white gold one's like an extra sixty, seventy grand. Yeah, but sixteen thousand dollars, I couldn't. It doesn't matter how much money you've got. No. Yeah. Sixteen thousand dollars for a. A yes, ten dollar rubber yeah. strap, yeah. and I felt so bad when I was buying it. When I had to send that wire out to pay for it, I was like, "Dude, you got to be kidding me right now!" Who sells a strap for sixteen thousand? There's dealers that get lucky and they find them and they buy them, but they pay big money for them too. I mean, they're probably paying you know seven, eight thousand dollars for the strap because Paddock won't sell the strap unless you have the watch. So, how much is this? This one we're going to be doing it at um, ninety-two thousand, and it's brand new. Including the sixteen thousand dollars strap. Yeah, it's a <laughs> bargain, guys. But this strap won't fit on the watch that we're talking about. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it's not the same model. It's why. not the same reference. Uh, it's the only yeah. one that will fit for the fifty-one sixty-four because it's different lug sizes. So I'm surprised that somebody hasn't come out and made copies of the strap that. There, there is. I'm they sure there is. Yeah, 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 there nobody is. would know, right? Nobody would know. Nobody, but the texture of it is a little bit different, and the material, and I don't know. But we only sell factory stuff too. So. Ninety-two thousand dollars. Yeah. White gold. It's not bad, actually. You still have six thousand. It just tells the time. It, that's true too. Oh, it's it got is a white gold. It's got a date. It's got a date. So, yeah. so, what's the list on this? The list on this one is around sixty, or in the sixties, I believe. So this is again. It's one of those watches that I have personally no justification why this would sell for what it sells yeah. for because it has a green strap. Yes. Right. It's like. I but guess like, demand, you know, right? If you want it, you. you yeah. But Michael, actually, you know what? A colored watch is for someone like you, right? Someone that has you know, two, 300 watches that they already have. You know, you have white gold, you have steel, you have red, you have blue. You start getting bored of the normal stuff and you have to start going for colorful it's true. things. It's true. Lovely watch though. Yep. Lovely watch. Okay. So look, to have one frosted skeleton is insane. To have two is out of this world. And these are factory? These are all factory. And you can only find this at Happy Jewelers. Right here, you have about $700,000. No two way. Two watches, yeah, these are white gold. All factory frosted. So, what was the list on these watches? The list on these, I mean, they don't even put the price on the website. To be honest, it's by request. But if I had to take a an educated guess, I would say this one's probably going to be around like 140 to 150, and this is going to be right around there, maybe like 20, 30 grand less, because it's a ladies' piece. That is crazy. Now, this finish on here, it looks. But it looks like it's diamond, but it's not. It's, it's just... It's a frosted finish. CEO of Audemars Piguet, Francois, took it from a jewelry designer, Carolina Bucci, I believe. They use a diamond tip and they almost hammer it. You know, you hammer it on and it ends up coming out with this finish on it. Unbelievable. Isn't that absolutely wild? I love it. Yeah. So are you selling these individually or as a pair only? Individually. Individually, if somebody puts the money on the table, we don't say no to anybody. So you would sell, yeah, good point. <laughs> so you would sell this for how much? This one is going to be four hundred and thirty thousand. 
and this one is gonna be close to 200,000. So my recommendation is buy this, put it in some soil, give it some water and it'll grow and it'll end up like. <laughs> <laughs> say, say yourself, Tony, your grand. Right. Well, hold on, I, I got this on too. Oh, you know what? I, I'm wearing this. What are you wearing? So look at this. This is something Michael would buy now. This is him, um, what do you think, Adam, like 20 years ago? Ah, uh, unfortunately, oh, not, not only that probably one. like 10. <laughs> 10 years ago, yeah. Pro probably five. <laughs> five years ago, exactly. <laughs> okay, so this one's aftermarket, right? This is aftermarket, but it's an actual skeleton watch. Everything is factory on the watch, only the diamonds are custom. So somebody took a stainless steel, all factory skeleton watch, that's worth probably $225,000, and they completely iced it. And it made it worth less? They made it worth less, yeah, of So how much is this? This one we're gonna be doing for about 180. So that's less than, if this was just plain steel. 220. That's what you would sell it for? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? And they spent probably what, 20, 30,000 dollars to do uh, this? They're, it's, it's really well done actually. Yeah. Good craftsmanship, good workmanship. The stones are like VVS, D to F color. They probably spent like 40 grand. Yeah, because on, really on a watch like this, you're not gonna put low quality stones yeah. and you're not gonna give it to a jeweler that doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. So for somebody that likes the bling, yeah. this is a heck of a buy. Heck oh, of a yeah, buy. Of course. Yep. We, we, we took it in trade and uh, we got a good deal on it. And uh, Look, I mean, always remember, yeah. people say, oh, you ruined the watch, you ruined the watch. Yes, technically you drilled into it, you did, right? But if there's a market for a resale value, there's always gonna be somebody on the other side that's willing to buy it. Yeah, you can't you can't also tell somebody what their taste should be, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, honestly, I would have worn this four or five years ago and loved it. Been thrilled with it. Wow, yeah. what a gorgeous piece. Times change, taste change, yes, right? Exactly. And uh, you know, I still think it's a beautiful watch. Would I wear it? No. But somebody will and oh, they'll, somebody, they'll, they'll, they'll just love it. think yeah. it's the best the thing. The person ever. that buys this is gonna be ecstatic. Something for everyone, right? right? A, what do they say? There's a seat for every ass? Something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Something like yeah. that. There's okay. an ass for every seat. There's an ass for every seat and a watch for every my wrist. Dad, my dad used to always tell me that. Sometimes I used to look at pieces when I was young and I'd be like, oh my God, who would buy that or who would do this? He said, son, always remember, he said, there's an, there's an ass for every seat. That you're, you might not like it, but somebody might love it. Yeah, that's absolutely true. You know? Absolutely true. Okay, and, and then, then we've got two very special pieces coming. Check this out. This is spectacular. Yes. Tell us about this. So this is an Audemars Piguet concept. It's full carbon. They made this in collaboration with Michael Schumacher. The Formula One driver. Formula One driver. So it's a lap timer with the split second. So essentially you're gonna have a chronograph and you're gonna be able to record your time with the split second, kind of like how we did on the Richard Mill that I was showing you guys a 6501. But it's a way more complicated version of a normal split second. It took Audemars Piguet Six years to Look develop the movement and build it for Michael Schumacher. It took them 12 months of that was just testing it to make sure the movement was perfect. Look at those, Adam. Seven stars, is that like how Probably many times wins. he won? Does that yeah. represent how many years he won the Formula One Championship? I, I believe think so. so. Yeah. Seven stars, and he, you got a signature right there. Yeah. Every time. I you, love that. It reminds good. me of the old Stealth Fighter. Do you remember the the stealth fighter jet that they came out with back in like the I 90s. I do, yeah. The one that was all crazy shape. Yeah, they still use that, I think. That's what it reminds mm -hmm. me of. But it, the watch is massive. This is wonderful. How much is this piece? This one we're gonna be doing it for 175. And very rare as well. Very, very Super rare. rare. Very difficult to get, very rare. It's full complete box papers and everything. What is the retail of this watch? The retail is, is over 200,000. So, so this is below retail? This is below retail. Wow. But they'll never That's good come deal. out and tell you the retail on these. This is like price on request. Right, right. Gorgeous I love piece. that. Yeah. Good Gorgeous deal. Piece. Yeah. Good deal. Gabe, do the honors. Oh, yeah, that, that's Please. what I do. I'm like the guy that puts now, the watches back. I have a special <laughs> Danny piece. Danny does all the talking. <laughs> I have a special piece that I'm going to show you, Michael. Oh, then we'll come to this one in a second. That's really oh, special. Oh, I'm sorry. Too. Yeah, you know what? Let's no, no, that. let's see what's special. I like things so, that are hidden in boxes. I got a Patek Philippe 5270 Platinum. Oh, that's lovely color dial. Grand complication. Brand new. Brand, brand new. So earlier I was telling you about, I said, look, the case back, now they put it in a sealed department. Oh, look at that. And you know, when you're selling these, the customer will ask, actually ask, because a lot of people surprisingly don't ask me why they'll lose it. Really? They'll lose it and they won't have it. So a lot yeah. of the value, I mean, this will go up to four or five grand just for this case back if you don't have it. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. How much is this little puppy? This one, we're gonna be doing it for 225,000. And this is one of those watches that regardless of what happens in the watch world, it, it doesn't get affected. It doesn't get affected. It, it continues to go up. Especially that with the green. Is gorgeous. Isn't it gorgeous? Right? Yeah, Look I at the way they that. did it. They did it with like light, 
to dark finish, yeah. they completely crush the design. And this is something that they're not going to make forever, especially colorful designs, right? I believe they'll probably only make it for a couple of years. They'll discontinue it and it'll skyrocket in value. So this I is a real watch collector will go for an item like this. So I, 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 buy that. I have, I, it's too small for me, but oh. it's gorgeous. Yes. But I do have something in this box that intrigues me that I want. What is it? <laughs> and I know you won't give me this one, but. I'll get you one. Can you get me one of these? I'll get you one. What is that? So I, ha I have a. Is that a pen? It's a pen to oh, set the pen. different functions. I have a 5724, I think it's called. Yes. The rose gold one, mm -hmm. and it has a little pusher on the side, yeah. and I use a toothpick, a wooden <laughs> toothpick, <laughs> because, because the it wood won't works. scratch, yeah, works, right? Yes, exactly. But this is designed specially for it, and I've been trying to get one. And I'll get you one. I'll get you one. <laughs> Check Lovely. his pockets. Check <laughs> his pockets. It's there, guys. Yeah. It's there. It's on camera. <laughs> and then this piece is absolutely stunning. Yeah, this is stunning. That the dial. way that Vacheron designed it, is absolutely wild. It actually comes with the blue rubber strap and the blue other strap. Because normally you'll find them like this. So it's easier These to are find very them. rare. Very, very and rare. And you have two of them. I have two of them. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I'm one of the only guys that will buy two. They're the same exact watch. It normally comes with a rubber strap and a leather strap. To find it on the rose gold bracelet is ultra rare. Really? Right? Because this one, when you buy it from factory with the rose gold bracelet, it'll come with the leather strap and the rubber strap with it as well. How much are these? This one I'm doing for um, 80,000, and this one I'm doing for 110. That's, that's a lot of watch for 110. It's a perpetual that's calendar. calendar. That and you got a yeah. lot of watch. Vacheron is one of the best watches. You know, I yeah. can see a Vacheron in my future. Not near future, but I, I am in love with those blue yeah. dials. Would you wear it in the rose gold? No, probably you not. You want a steel one, right? I, yeah, but I just no, I white gold. love... Yeah, white, white gold. They make it on the white gold. I just love those dials so much. I, I can't get enough of that color. It's, it's spectacular. All, you can't even see it like on camera. It doesn't do it justice. I mean, it's such a like, I, I don't know how, like, look at the, I don't know, can you see this? I mean, look at the blue that they did Stunning. on it. It's yeah, like, it's unbelievable. Yeah. So Absolutely rich. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Well, guys, thank you so much once yeah. again for showing us these amazing pieces. I mean, amazing. And not just amazing, but very, very well priced yes. pieces and pieces you won't find anywhere. Always. So, uh, yeah, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. We're in it to win it. Gabe, Danny, sorry, Gabe, Danny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks once again. Always welcome. And, thank you, Mike. Uh, we'll, thank you for we'll coming by. We'll have all your info thank you, Adam. in thank the you description. Thank you. So reach out to them. Buy yourself one of these amazing watches. What a I display. Hi. Subscribe. Oh, yeah. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Give a thumbs up. Share. I've never said that before. Share the video to every person you know and even your neighbors that you don't know. <laughs> Leave a comment. What else? That's it. Subscribe. Go shopping. Um, Producermichael.com. Happyjewelers.com. Uh, Happyjewelers.com. Danny, Gabe. Yeah, that's it. Cool. And there's a bunch of people outside waiting to come in. <laughs> Switch the camera off, damn it. Say bye then. Bye then. <laughs>